This is June Jordan's 1982 poem, 1983 poem. Apologies. Hold that all, mic up to your mouth. Apologies <laughs> to all the people in Lebanon. The great poet June Jordan. I didn't know, and nobody told me. And what could I do or say anyway? They said you shot the London ambassador. And when that wasn't true, they said, so what? They said, you shelled their northern villages. And when the UN forces reported that wasn't true because your side of the ceasefire was holding since more than a year before they said so, so what? They said they wanted simply to carve a 25 mile buffer zone. And then they ravaged your water supplies, your electricity, your hospitals, your schools, your highways and byways and all the way north to Beirut, because they said this was their quest for peace. They blew up your homes and demolished the grocery stores and blocked the Red Cross and took away the doctors to jail and they cluster bombed girls and boys whose bodies swelled purple and black into twice the original size and tore the buttocks from a four month old baby. And then they said this was brilliant military accomplishments and this was done, they said, in the name of self-defense, they said. That is the noblest concept of mankind, isn't that obvious? They said something about never again. And then they made close to one million human beings homeless in less than three weeks. And they killed or maimed 40,000 of your men and your women and your children. But I didn't know, and nobody told me. And what could I do or say anyway? They said they were victims. They said you were Arabs. They called your apartments and gardens guerrilla strongholds. They called the screaming devastation that they created the rubble. And then they told you to leave, didn't they? Didn't you read the leaflets that they dropped from their hotshot fighter jets? They told you to go 135,000 Palestinians in Beirut. And why didn't you take the hint? Go. There was the Mediterranean. You could walk into the water and stay there. What was the problem? I didn't know and nobody told me and what could I do or say anyway? Yes, I did know it was the money I earned as a poet that paid for the bombs and the planes and the tanks that they used to massacre your family. But I'm not an evil person. The people of my country aren't so bad. You can expect, but so much from those of us who have to pay taxes and watch American TV. You see my point? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. June Jordan, 1983. Apologies to all the people in Lebanon. And tonight, every one of us who pays taxes here owes apologies to all the people in Lebanon, all the people in the West Bank, all the people in Gaza. And we need to remember that what is motivating the Ayum administration and administrations all across this country to degrade their universities, violate academic freedom protections and campus speech rights is their commitment to the deadly force of Zionism that has for decades committed ethnic cleansing, apartheid, and all too often genocide against Palestinians and other Arabs. Today in Gaza and in Lebanon, we cannot just defend free speech. We need to understand that the violation of academic freedom and free speech is in the service of fealty to a murderous ethno-supremacist ideology. And we cannot ignore the content of speech that is motivating the awfulness of the Witten. And we cannot ignore the fact that it is an IU struggle, but 3,000 faculty and students and protesters were arrested across 80 campuses. It's an IU struggle, it's a local struggle, it's national, and it's in the service of the genocide. And again, I will just appreciate June Jordan giving me the words to apologize tonight to all the people in Lebanon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.